Several felony cases are moving through their court proceedings with four defendants waiving their rights to preliminary hearings and four choosing to set preliminary hearings. Kimball County Court Judge Randon Rowland says everyone is presumed innocent until they plead guilty or are proven guilty by the court of law. Kenneth Childs, 65 of Dix, was arrested July 17 and charged with Class II felony use of a deadly weapon to commit a felony Class III Amperes felony terroristic threats Class III misdemeanor disturbing the peace and Class III misdemeanor criminal mischief of causing pecuniary loss of $500 or less. Childs chose to move forward with his case by representing himself. His preliminary hearing is set for August 9 in county court. The preliminary hearing will consist of both sides presenting evidence and arguments pertaining to the charges, after which the judge determines if the state presented enough evidence to move the case forward to district court. 43-year-old Derek Metcalf and 41-year-old Cora Robinson were arrested May 6 and each charged with two counts of child abuse and one count of contributing to the delinquency of a child. Metcalf waived his right to a preliminary hearing, so his case is now in district court with his arraignment being September 3. Robinson chose to move forward with a preliminary hearing, which is set for August 14. Travis McDonald, 48, of Bushnell is facing Class 3 Amperes felony terroristic threats and Class 1 misdemeanor obstructing government operations. He waived his right to a preliminary hearing, so his arraignment will be September 3 in district court. Two Kimball residents, 61-year-old Andrea Fowler and 54-year-old Robert O'Brien, are facing Class 4 felony possession of a controlled substance. Fowler chose to move forward with a preliminary hearing, which is set for August 14. O'Brien waived his right to a preliminary hearing, and his arraignment in district court is September 3. Jeff Whitney, 28, of Dix is also facing a felony possession charge along with Class 3 misdemeanor driving without a license. Whitney's preliminary hearing is August 9. Ezra Stewart, 23, of Iowa is facing Class 4 felony possession of a controlled substance, Class 3 misdemeanor possession of marijuana an infraction for possession or use of drug paraphernalia, and a speeding infraction. Stewart waived his right to a preliminary hearing, so his arraignment in district court will be September 3. A Kimball man facing a felony theft charge appeared in Kimball County Court July 24 following his arrest. 29-year-old Cody Green of Kimball was charged with Class 4 felony theft by unlawful taking between the amount of $1,500 and $4,999. This amount is based on the value of the truck he allegedly took. Green appeared in court without counsel and chose to move forward with self-representation. He then waived his right to a preliminary hearing and his case moved to district court where his first hearing is August 6. In court, Green claimed that his charge should be dismissed due to the vehicle that he allegedly stole not being listed as a stolen vehicle. Chief of Police Jose Ruiz told News Channel Nebraska that when a vehicle is reported as stolen, the arresting officer inputs the vehicle in a database, and the National Crime Information Center then releases a bulletin nationwide for that stolen vehicle. Once a vehicle is recovered, it gets taken out of the system. On May 12, Ruiz responded to a call and upon further investigation, found probable cause that Green took a truck that did not belong to him and was clearly told not to take. The Kimball Police Department couldn't find Green that day, so they gave the report to the county attorney, who then issued the warrant for the stolen vehicle. On July 16, Dencio Deputy Garrett Pedersen was conducting a traffic stop when he spotted a car that he suspected belonged to Green. After that was a dead end, he got a tip that Green was staying at one of the local motels. The deputy went to the motel and found the room Green was staying in and arrested him. All suspects are presumed innocent until proven guilty by the court of law. The new game room at the Sagebrush is now open. It includes five skill games that are similar to the slot machine style, but these ones, you just press a button. The Sagebrush had skill games in the past, but a year ago the company that provided the machines felt that they were not bringing in enough business, so they pulled them. Co-owner of the Sagebrush Don Moser said she knew she wanted to bring the games back based on the reaction when they were taken out. When we had it before and pulled them, we had a lot of people upset, but it took us a while to find another company, Moser said. The company started them out with five machines, and if they can increase business, they will install more. The machines take cash and if the player wins, a coupon will come out and then the player will put the coupon in the redeeming machine where it will give them their cash. Players can also use that machine to break down big bills to smaller bills. They have also added an ATM not only for those looking to play the games, but for restaurant customers too. It is just past the restaurant entrance on the right-hand side. 
It is separate from the restaurant and the lounge. We did it that way because our lounge is not a bar, it's a different atmosphere, so we didn't want to add noise from the games to that space, Moser said. The game room has tables, and each machine has cup holders. So, players can drink and order appetizers while they play. It's just like a casino, if you were to go to a casino you can drink and gamble at the same time, Moser said. Customers can choose to just go in to play games, or they can sit and eat at the restaurant and go to the game room. It's for adult entertainment, and a place on a Friday night if you want to go out to eat and go play a little Moser said. It's something to do, especially for the travelers. They enjoy it to have something to do if they're stuck in their hotel room. The game room is open Monday through Saturday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. When winter hours begin again around the time school starts, it will be open from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. We're just trying to keep the positive in Kimball, Moser said. 104.3 FM, KIMB Radio is sponsoring Inside Out 2 at the Good Hand Theater in Kimball this weekend. The second film that KIMB has sponsored this summer, Inside Out 2 is an all-ages comedy featuring big-name voices like Amy Poehler and Phyllis Smith. It is Pixar's highest-grossing film ever, having already brought in $1.4 billion this summer. It also boasts a 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. Local businesses team with the Friends of the Good Hand Theater every other weekend to bring movies to Kimball and play them at the historic Good Hand Theater. That is all in local news. At Kimball State Bank and Kimball Insurance, products we offer are home, auto, business, truck, farm, life, boat, RV, motorcycle, ATV, rental homes, vacant homes, and SR-22 auto policies. Hours of operation are Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Fridays 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays by appointment and closed on Sundays. We are conveniently located at 205 South Locust Street, four blocks west of the stoplights off Highway 30. For more than a century, Kimball State Bank and Insurance has been serving our community and will continue for more years to come. Call us at 308-235-4629 for more information or stop by 205 South Locust Street. Are you looking for that special, one-of-a-kind gift or item for yourself? A W Laser Art is a very proud farm and ranch wife nestled on the plains of western Nebraska. They offer a full line of custom, laser gifts and awards as well as western home decor. If you don't see something that you really like and want to design your own, that is fantastic. Custom orders are always welcome. They also love to help out groups by offering several fundraising options. So please, take a look around. Feel free to contact Laser Art by phone or email. They look forward to designing that perfect gift for you. A W Laser Art and so much more. Visit www.awlaserart.com or call 308-235-8406. Bullseye Maintenance and Repair is servicing Kimball and surrounding areas. No job too small. Call Tony Hernandez at 970-624-9863 for a free estimate. He does plumbing, basic water heaters, replacement toilets and sinks. Yard maintenance, weekly mowing, raking, weeding, fall cleanup. Landscape, rock, flower beds, fall cleanup, snow removal, remodels, interior and exterior. You name it, we do it. Are you looking for custom welding and fabrication? Are you looking for hydraulic, PTO, and driveline repairs? What about farm equipment repairs? What about steel sales? Then look no further. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated has portable welding service available. They are located at 105 South Webster Street. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to noon. You can call them at 308-235-3700 during business hours. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated has been providing farm machinery and equipment manufacturing in Kimball since 2009. For all of your manufacturing needs, give Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated a call at 308-235-3700 or stop by 105 South Webster Street during business hours. Come join our team at Kimball Health Services. We're adding multiple positions and we offer competitive wages, excellent benefits, and a world-class work environment. If you're passionate about healthcare, we want you. 
Learn more at KimballHealth.org. The Summer Zero Fares program is going on right now around town. There is no cost to ride around Kimball for the summer. Adults and kids ride free at all stops. Safe and reliable transportation for kids going to activities including at the golf course and ball fields. Paratransit is available for at-home pickups for those unable to get to a bus stop. Route times will be put out on RideKCTS.com and Facebook Friday, June 14. Its stops include activity areas, shopping and medical areas. Call for additional information at 308-235-0262. They have a bus service at each stop every 30 minutes. Sponsored by City of Kimball and KCTS. Kimball. For more information, call 308-235-0262, stop by at 233 South Chestnut Street in downtown Kimball or visit RideKCTS.com. KCTS, we're headed your direction. KCTS can connect you anywhere in the world from right here in Kimball. Our Redline Airport Shuttle provides seven-day-a-week service between Western Nebraska Regional Airport in Scottsbluff and Denver International Airport. The Red Line can also pick you up at hotels near the airport at your request or at Union Station. Before you pack your suitcase, contact us to reserve your seat. Learn more at RideKCTS.com. KCTS, we're headed your direction. Let KCTS get you on the road to great health care. Get front door ride service to the newly opened Kimball Health Services Hospital and to the Sydney and Scottsbluff Regional Medical Centers. Our bus routes provide reliable and convenient service multiple times daily. Let KCTS take care of your medical rides so your medical provider can take great care of you. Learn more at RideKCTS.com. KCTS, we're headed your direction. It's time for the 74th Annual Pine Bluffs Trail Days Youth Rodeo, Saturday, August 3rd at noon in Pine Bluffs, Wyoming. Featuring local youth performing your favorite events from mutton busting, calf and steer riding to barrel racing, pole bending, and team roping. They have event categories ranging from 14 to 18 years of age, down to 6 and under. To register, you must enter by Monday, July 29th between 5 and 9 p.m. by calling or texting 307-631-2227. Visit the Trail Days Youth Rodeo Facebook page for a complete list of events. It's a great way to have fun and support a great cause. It's the 33rd Annual Kimball Hospital Foundation Golf Classic, Saturday, August 3rd at the Four Winds Golf Course. It's a four-person scramble, $320 a team. Registration is at 11 a.m. and tee off at noon. There's lots of prizes, the Panhandle Automotive Million Dollar Shootout and Wolf Automotive Hole-in-One Contest. And most importantly, your support helps purchase new surgery equipment at Kimball Health Services. That's the Kimball Hospital Foundation Golf Classic, Saturday, August 3rd. Claim your spot at 308. 235-1967. The Kimball Banner County Fair and Rodeo has a family fun filled fair week planned. Come out and support your local 4-H and FFA kids with their livestock shows. Check out the Hog and Swine shows, followed by the Sheep and Goat shows Thursday, August 8th. And don't miss out on the Kimball County Ag Society Gymkhana with free barbecue for everyone. There will be a beef show all day Friday, August 9th. Then closing the 4-H exhibits will be the livestock auction show Saturday, August 10th. For more information, and visit Kimball County, Nebraska Ag Society on Facebook. The second annual Kimball County Rubber Check Race is coming up on Saturday, August 10, 2024, beginning at 7 p.m. at the Kimball County Fairgrounds. The second annual Kimball County Rubber Check Race is brought to you by Siobhan Singleton of Farm Bureau Financial Services and Kimball County AG Society of Kimball, Nebraska. For more information, contact Siobhan Singleton of Farm Bureau Financial Services at 308-230-2226. Mark your calendar for the Kimball Banner County Junior Livestock Sale coming up live on Saturday, August 10th at 1 p.m. Be advised, there will be an online option for buyers and supporters that can't make the auction beginning at 9 a.m. on Saturday, August 10th through 6 p.m. on Monday, August 12th. The auction is premium auction only. Animals will not transfer ownership. Sale order will be hogs, goats, beef, sheep, poultry, and rabbits. If you have any questions, please contact Bob Sulek at 308-641-2057 or Ryan Lucasen at 308-235-7265. Bushnell Day 2024 will have the theme for this year, Boots and Roots, and will be held on Saturday, August 17, 2024 in Bushnell, Nebraska. Again, that's Bushnell Day 2024 coming up on Saturday, August 17, 2024. More details of activities will be released in the near future so stay tuned. 
From the KIMB Weather Center, this is your weather outlook for the next week. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 59. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour becoming west after midnight. Tuesday sunny and hot, with a high near 100. Northwest wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, with a low around 62. West wind 5 to 15 miles per hour becoming north northwest after midnight. Wednesday sunny and hot, with a high near 95. North northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday night, mostly clear with a low around 58. North northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming south after midnight. Thursday sunny and hot, with a high near 95. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low around 62. Friday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms afternoon. Sunny and hot, with a high near 96. Friday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before midnight. Partly cloudy, with a low around 60. Saturday sunny and hot, with a high near 95. Saturday night, mostly clear with a low around 60. Next Sunday sunny and hot, with a high near 95. Next Sunday night, partly cloudy, with a low around 61. And next Monday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly sunny and hot, with a high near 98. That is your weather outlook for the next week.